These are soldiers of the Palestinian resistance. They have come out to protest near the northern Gaza border. Only they are not carrying guns or bombs or burning tires. They're holding kites. Most are adorned with the black, red, green and white of the Palestinian flag. This week, hundreds of kites were flown over the border into Israel, some to send a peaceful message of resistance. They dropped flyers on us, and we are replying by putting out flyers. This is an idea that nobody thought about. They dropped flyers using their airplanes, and we will use the kites to drop our flyers. Some were lit on fire and used as a weapon, intending to cause real damage to Israeli land. The objectives achieved by these kites, many of which we can do today, is to burn crops, and these crops can cost the enemy millions of shekels. A warehouse in Israel's south was set on fire after a kite equipped with a flaming rag had landed there. But many of the protesters just want a glimpse of the land they feel belongs to them. Some attempts have been made to use cameras, and these kites carry GoPro cameras, which are light cameras, and we can get pictures of our land that we miss and desire to reach. Since March 30th, tens of thousands have protested along the border in the blockaded enclave, calling for Palestinian refugees to be able to return to their former lands in what is now Israel. Dozens of Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces in the process, and hundreds injured. The IDF defended their response to the rallies as legitimate, saying they constantly work to minimize the number of casualties along the security barrier, and also blaming Hamas, the rulers of the Strip, for placing civilians in danger. The protests were planned to last six weeks, but peak on Fridays. Protest organizers have officially labeled Friday protests in support of martyrs and prisoners. But on social media, some Palestinians have dubbed this week's Friday of Kites. We expect this Friday to be a decisive Friday, the Friday of fire, the Friday of flames, of the Palestinian revolution. How the IDF will respond to the latest symbol of Palestinian resistance is up in the air. But realistically, the kites are unlikely to cause any major damage.